What is going on you guys? Welcome back to Channel Anderson. It's still freezing out, but day 23 of Logmas has begun. So let's get it. Alright guys, so picking up where we left off yesterday, got everything uh, soaking overnight, looks very clean actually, I'm happy with this piece, pretty much done with that, just need to rinse it off, um, need to do the upper shell today, and then these other smaller pieces, uh, get these finished up, they're pretty close, so we're almost done with the upper half here, and then we can get it dried off later uh, try to reseal but I may just try to clean everything off today and then save the resealing for tonight because I can do that inside no problem but I can't do this inside because I don't want my house smelling like diesel fuel so let's get this taken care of and uh, see how much progress we can make today alright you guys we're back into it all right, it's covering up my face. Back into it. I got different size Brillo pads I cut up for myself. Got the one we used yesterday. Got all of our scrubbing brushes. So, it's not really much talking to do. We just gotta get this done. It's a little bit warmer today actually, so I'm happy about that. Um, my hands are not absolutely freezing right now being out here, so that's a good sign. I don't have gloves, so I could either use my snow gloves and basically kiss them goodbye <laughs> or you know wash them afterwards but I think I'm just gonna try to go bare hand honestly sometimes the rubber gloves make my hands colder so I think we should be okay on that part but I'll still have to take a break here and there let's see how far we can get though this one done pretty clean definitely clean enough so get that one out of the way all right guys time to get started on these uh, and by the way for the last bit of resin that's on these and the other uh, upper part once I ask it to wipe them that's gonna strip that off so I'm not too worried if I don't get all of it spotless but just trying to get the bigger chunks off but yeah, let's uh, get it going. Alright you guys, last piece for the upper shell right here, uh, luckily this one is fairly not complicated, um, <laughs> like as far as intricate shapes, so just be scrubbing inside just like, <laughs> just like normal, more scrubbing. Make sure you guys do a good job by the way of uh, taking all the silicone off gonna be hidden so I'm gonna start inside of all those little channels make sure there's no silicone and then I'll start scrubbing the rest of it
right, you guys, taking a break again to warm up. Got my bowl of spaghetti. You guys can't even really see. <laughs> and uh, my rice coffee. Just want to say shout out to Johan, Johan Muter from JM Speed Shop. Watch his channel frequently. Uh, and I suggest you guys, you want to support other Mercedes shops, go subscribe to all these other ones. You can check out the video I made. Look at my cat sitting by the fire. <laughs> you can check out the video I made on the list of Mercedes YouTubers. There's definitely a bigger list than what I made, but like, if you guys like my channel, you guys like other Mercedes channels, like go support them, go subscribe, help it out so we can keep progressing all of these cars and when i say we and not just like me my channel you guys like us as a whole everybody collectively can keep progressing um just this diy and modification mentality uh, for the benz community so uh yeah specifically though somebody asked yesterday about me making a video on how to flip uh the m113 intake manifold so that the throttle body is facing the front of the car he is actually doing that right now. He already did it. Um, he's building a um, S124 with a turbo M113. And he's done like so many little modifications that people have probably never heard of or seen or imagined on the M113. So I really suggest you guys go check it out. I've definitely gained quite a bit of knowledge from watching his videos and been able to talk to him back and forth about a few things. Um, so yeah, just great person to have in the community and definitely go subscribe if you guys haven't That said I'm gonna warm up eat my spaghetti. This is uh Some venison ground you got you can't see but this is some venison ground I cooked Earlier and uh, it is delicious. So I'm gonna enjoy Warm up my hands and uh, I'll be back to it here in a second all right guys, so where we left off in the last time lapse, uh, the only thing I needed left to do on this one is clean out the uh, outer shell here. Uh, and then we're gonna get started on the lower half, which is, I mean, it's a little bit intricate, but I feel like these upper pieces are a little more time consuming. So we'll get that taken care of. And my plan is if I can get all these nice and clean, acetone, then in this video, we might be able to uh, start the resealing um, for both halves. And then that way I can let them dry until tonight. And then uh, in theory, I could start you know, my first round of the primer paint tonight. And hopefully have it silver by Christmas. So we'll see. But uh, that's the plan for now. Got a lot more cleaning to do. So I'm just going to check in with you guys in about an hour and see how far we got. me for abusing it in the cold but <laughs> we are done with all of the top half pieces just got to acetone wipe them and dry them off moving on to the lower two final two steps it's about 220 right now if we can get this done in about an hour should have time to uh, start the resealing and let you guys see some of that in today's video all right you guys even my phone just started acting up i had to restart it okay I'm not going to time lapse you guys for this, but just wanted to show you before and after. You can see how dirty all these plates are. So main focus on these is going to be the swirl flaps and just overall cleaning, but getting those swirl flaps really clean is going to be the key. So let's do this. I'll check back with you guys when it's nice and clean. All right, guys, I almost forgot one very important detail as well with this lower baffle or uh, swirl flap thing. These can actually be removed. There's a plate on this side and the other side. 
that are basically just glued in uh, or siliconed in. Let me get this out of here. I'll show you guys. All right. Huh. That's a different design than the other one. On the ML55, it was actually a different design than the ML55. ML55 is actually siliconed in. This one actually has a gasket. And I think it's plastic. This The uh, ML55 was metal. Anyways, let me show you the other side also. I'm going to set this aside. So same thing over here. Yeah, this is different than the ML55. Um, these are plastic and there's basically this little relief or check right here and this is the hose that connects down um, into the port that we talked about in the last video Let's see if i can get this one started crazy yeah completely different than the one on level 55 interesting that they decided later on in the uh, m113 that this is a better design well the gaskets still feel great to be honest they look like biton so i'll probably just clean these up and pop them back in but basically this is a chamber and it just goes straight through and this is kind of where it uh, grabs the air from uh, to create the vacuum I guess um, I don't really know exactly how it works uh, to play with like the flaps I don't know if it has to do with the flaps um, so I couldn't tell you exactly what it does but it is what connects to the uh, little solenoid so just wanted to show you guys that but very interesting they're not siliconed in i might silicone them in to be honest uh, with the gasket so let's keep moving all right you guys i was too curious so here is the metal one that i was talking about this is off my spare um this one i accidentally tore the little uh flapper relief thingy that's on here but these are a perfect fit so nothing changed about that and honestly i would prefer to use the metal one because i don't like the fact that this is also plastic i mean this plastic feels strong um and fine but i just don't like that this is made out of plastic it's just kind of asking for failure at some point um, so I would love to be able to get this um, I would love to be able to get the little flapper out of here but I don't think there's any way to do that without destroying it um, so I might just be stuck running this again but it would be nice if I could use the metal one instead. And then I wouldn't have anything to worry about as far as this thing. And I'm sure there's nothing to worry about in general. But, you know, if you guys know me by now, I like metal more than plastic when it comes to engine parts. So, uh, we'll see what we do. Anyway, I need to keep cleaning. Let's focus. Alright guys, we are moving on to the final piece. Got that one nice and ready. Once I get this one done, we can acetone all of them and bring them inside. Alright guys, I'm just about to wipe these down, uh, but I remembered that the little... Where is it? I can't even remember what side it's on now. I think it's on the other side of this. Oi. Oh yeah, this thing. 
that one is still stuck on the hose in the car. So I'm going to go grab it. And I'm also going to uh, pull my battery because there's no point in letting it just sit in there while it's freezing cold. Look at the ground, you guys. I've never seen this like this. It's just literally ice everywhere. Oh my gosh, dude, it's slippery. All right, first things first, let's grab that thing out of the engine bay. Slip, oh my god. Let's see if this thing will even open. Oh, Look at this, it's a layer of ice. Okay, where was that thing? It's right here. All right. I do not think I'm gonna be able to get this off of here. So instead, I'm just gonna trim this hose real quick. All right, guys, well, I'll be replacing this little section of hose, but not a big deal. Let's go ahead, go to the trunk, get the battery, go back upstairs. Hey, my Allen keys, I must have left these out here. I've almost fallen like five times, guys. I'm not even, kind of, I'm not even playing right now. All right, key thing when we do this, press the lock button before I unhook this so the car is locked. Grab my wrench. You guys have seen me do this a million times by now. So, I'll skip ahead. All right guys, battery secured. Trunk locked, car locked. Let's go inside. All right you guys, the GoPro is back alive. Um, what we're gonna start here now is wiping down all these with acetone. Um, don't be like me and work without gloves, but my gloves are literally dead, so uh, I'm just going to be careful, try to keep it off my hands, um, pour it into a bowl here, it evaporates very fast, so I'll use a bunch of the paper towels and just kind of wipe everything down. When you use diesel as a cleaner, um, it does leave behind basically like a film, which is good or bad, depending on what you're doing it with, but or depending on what you're cleaning, but... In this case, I have to get that film off of, you know, at least the parts uh, that we're going to paint. Um, I'm not convinced that I'm going to paint the lower half yet, by the way. I was thinking about it. I might skip on that. Um, just because that's where, you know, like, uh, ceiling surface and all that stuff. And O-rings and whatever else. I just feel like it's not worth messing with that lower half to paint. But I am going to paint the upper shell uh, for sure. So that one, I definitely need to really acetone down nicely. Um, and then after I get them all wiped down with acetone, I'm gonna bring them inside and I'm gonna hit them all with the heat gun. And I'll show you guys what happens uh, once you do that. But yeah, let's wipe these down with acetone first. Before I even wipe it down, I'm give it a quick wipe with a paper towel. Don't know what kind of opener this is. Alright guys, I'm back. I don't know if you guys have seen me, but... I got uh, glasses on, got my rag on, and it's pretty okay as long as you are not exposing yourself to it for a ton of time on your skin. So, it should be alright. Oh god. Okay. Right, more than enough. I was gonna say too, it always drives me crazy with like little stuff that's not supposed to be wrong. <laughs> that little white cap on there was like broken. 
so it wasn't letting me twist down and turn this so I just broke it off and now I just have a metal cap but little stuff like that I swear when you're doing projects like this just kill the vibe okay go ahead and uh, wipe this thing down guys well, we're back inside finally i can work in the warmth <laughs> i got these things uh pretty clean i'll probably have to wipe them down again before like paint but the insides are pretty much good um i don't know about this lower half like i said i don't know if i'll paint it or not these uh side portions i mean i scrubbed the crap out of them but some of this stuff is just really stuck in here so i'll try again after Maybe uh, soaking them with like maybe WD-40 or something overnight. Um, like this site's still really bad. And I scrubbed it a bunch, trust me. But some of that stuff just wouldn't break loose for some reason. It's like ingrained into the metal. But um, I'm sure if I let it soak, it'll come out. But I still have the decision to make on these pieces. Um not sure what I want to do yet to be honest um, but we'll see uh, I think for the back one I'll definitely just run the other metal one but the only dilemma with the front one is this little check valve thingy and I just don't think I can get it out of there without damaging it which sucks but um, I don't really think they're designed to be pulled out once they go in. So we'll see what I do about that. But I'm going to need kind of a supreme focus uh, tonight while I'm doing the silicone. And I got to wait till my son goes to bed. Otherwise, he'll try to walk in here and mess with it. Uh, you know, try to help out. But it's kind of a delicate job and takes some precision and focus. So I'm going to do that tonight. You guys will see it tomorrow. I thought we'd make it to it in this video, so apologies again, but I can only work so fast in the cold. Uh, if it was summertime, I think I would have got this whole job done already, but just working with what I have. So, um, yeah, I will record that tonight after this video is posted and my son's asleep and hopefully get both these halves sealed up and then we can move on to the next steps. For sure, painting the top half, like I said, but still making a decision on what I want to do with the lower half. So... Thank you guys so much for watching. I will catch you guys tomorrow for day 24. This is the end of day 23. Wow. All right. Only a few more days left. Let's try to make the most of it. Like, comment, subscribe, share it with your peoples. I will catch you tomorrow. Peace. <laughs>